Well, good morning, everyone. And um, it's always hard to follow Dick Durbin, you know. But I'm so glad to be standing at his side in Washington, D.C., and together we've done a lot of good work there and will continue to do so. It's also an honor to join Governor Pritzker and all of our state, local, and labor leaders here today to break ground in this new hub transportation center. This center, as Dick has said, and as the governor has said, is a crucial part of the Springfield Rail Project, which, as you all know, is a massive, massive undertaking for the city of Springfield and the whole state of Illinois, and I would argue for the whole nation as well because the slowdowns that happened here affects rail transport across the nation. It affects the ability of us to bring not just people to different places, but goods and services to the marketplace. In fact, you know, parts of the southeastern United States has been purchasing uh, grains like soybean from places like Brazil because we can't get our goods and products to market fast enough from Illinois compared to how fast they can send it from Brazil to the southeastern part of the United States. That's why I wanted to focus on infrastructure and transportation when I went to the United States Senate. And I'm so proud that over the years, thanks to the leadership of Senator Durbin, more than $50 million in federal funding has been invested in the Springfield Rail Improvements Project. But there's much more that needs to be done. Projects like the Hub Transportation Center, the Rail Improvement Project are great examples of the multiplying effect federal resources can bring to bear on state and local infrastructure investments, the impacts that these federal resources have on our communities, and the kinds of things that we can do when all levels of government come together. And that is why I'm so proud to also be standing here with Governor Pritzker. His dedication and support for these projects and gathering together people from all different uh, viewpoints to understand that we need to make these investments in Illinois, in our communities, not just for the good of our communities, but also for the good of the nation. You know, these projects aren't just about improving the quality of life for just Springfield residents, though that would have been more than enough to give it the green light. It's about helping Illinoisans travel our great state more equally, more easily in fewer days. It's about improving access for all riders so that riders with disabilities will have full access. But our work doesn't stop here. We can see these impacts uh, in the Build Back Better pro proposal from President Biden and that Dick and I will be going back to Washington to continue to pursue. Also, in the critical investments, Governor Pritzker's Rebuild Illinois Capital Plan has made as well. The bipartisan infrastructure deal we're working on in Washington to pass would create more jobs across the state, and we won't stop working to get it done, along with the Build Back Better budget. And we're gonna make sure we get this thing across the finish line. And then we're gonna have the governor come through with his efforts, and that again will have that multiplying effect. We must work to pass bipartisan infrastructure legislation that will create jobs here in Springfield, but all across this great nation. So I'm so proud to get to be here. It could not have a better day. I don't know what the mayor did, um, but, but somehow he managed to get us this great day. I'm not surprised that he would be able to pull that off, but thank you for letting me be here. And I can't wait to see this project completed. And now I will be followed by Secretary Omar Osman.